I remember in my Paris, my act was dazzling. A satin Saturday night, jets, egrets, diamond dust on my face. I stood there and I looked hot. After Lady Sings the Blues, um, I started being involved with a lot of the women in show business. In other words, what had happened before me, like the trailblazers, or what made it possible that I could do the kind of show that I do and uh, be able to work the kind of audiences and what had gone really before me. And by doing that one time, we were sitting in the meeting, you know, I said, I wonder if all of these ladies, and, and speaking of ladies, uh, there was about three that were really important at that point because people had asked me if I would play their lives like Josephine Baker and so on. They wanted me to really talk about that because actually it, it came out so extremely uh, magical in there that they thought maybe people wouldn't really know that it was me because after the makeup was done right. and the costumes were... How did were, they make you? You're, you're slender. How did they make you so... Well, and uh, the most makeup was with Ethel Waters. Right. Uh, Ethel, uh, Bessie Smith wasn't as much and Josephine Baker was basically no. the eyes and, and teeth, you know. And after the costumes, which was done by Bob and Ray uh, Mackey, uh, the costumes, and then all of a sudden, my voice started to sound different. <laughs> and there are different, three completely different personalities of women, yes, I, yet I felt it was different faces with the same woman. And Josephine Baker was hot, you know, very uh, hot lady, but very deep, very heavy in her thinking, intelligent woman. I had everybody to leave the theater when I did it that night because I wanted, uh, you know, to be able to kind of just stay loose and whatever happened, happened. Yeah. It was tough for Josephine Baker. That's her voice you hear. In the 20s, she left a segregated United States and became a sensation in Paris. Ross will produce and star in a movie about Baker's life. This is the kind of woman that really made my work easier. Because at the time she started, blacks could not work in certain areas. I'm in the process of now researching another woman's life, a very extraordinary woman. That Quite is. a bit of different lifestyle. Her name is Josephine Baker. Oh, yeah. And I hope that that will be my next film project, if all works out. And it's a lot of process that goes on before you see a picture on the screen, but there's a lot of paperwork and whatever. But I'm spending time knowing more about who she was. Now, her life took a completely different path. Yes. She was born in Baltimore, and so was Billie Holiday. I think it's from the same place. And uh, she went to New York to be in show business and then popped over to Paris and became the toast of, uh, of Paris. And her life was a European legend. And yet there was many conflicts because she was never treated the same in the United States. She was during the time when it was, I always say that the women like Josephine and Bessie Smith and Ethel Waters really made it possible for me to have an easier existence as a black performer mm. uh, but uh, she's an extraordinary woman and I want to talk about her life t uh, 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 also it's I think it's a very interesting life mm -hmm. even if she were not black it's just very interesting vous allez jouer le rôle d'une femme qui était une battante, Joséphine Baker. Alors, vous avez retenu des places dans les collèges pour yes. vos trois filles, retenu un appartement, vous allez devenir parisienne en septembre. Exactement, oui. On va commencer en septembre. Je pense qu'on commencera à tourner en janvier. Le scénario est excellent, écrit par Jack Braille, qui a gagné euh, un prix pour Gandhi. Nous avons un réalisateur qui est Lois Gilbert, qui a, euh, vient aussi de gagner un prix en Grande-Bretagne, pour le meilleur film. Et j'ai en somme une excellente équipe. Et nous sommes très heureux d'être ici en France. Et nous sommes heureux de tourner ici. Parce que, vous savez, Joséphine, c'est en fait une franco-américaine. Alors justement, tout à l'heure, je me suis un petit peu avancé en parlant de séries télévisées. Il ne s'agit pour l'instant que d'un film, on me l'a dit entre-temps. Cela dit... Quelle est la raison de cet intérêt pour Joséphine Baker Pourquoi cette fascination pour ce personnage que vous voulez interpréter Why am, am I? I'm fascinated because Écoutez, Josephine, moi, elle me fascine uh, parce que, pour moi, Joséphine, c'est moi. I think there, en ce moment, c'est vraiment moi. Kind of Je crois que nous And avons peut-être un um, peu la même idée de, de lutter pour, la, pour survivre. Puis je l'admire beaucoup, about, uh, sa générosité, le fait qu'elle a essayé de créer comme ça une famille de 12 enfants adoptés venant And, uh, de pays uh, très différents dans le monde entier. C'est une femme très courageuse. Elle était très forte et je crois qu'il faut l'admirer. 
elle est venue d'Amérique, elle est arrivée en France, elle est devenue vraiment la coqueluche de Paris. Elle a été respectée par, par tout, toute la société française, tous les artistes, tous les créateurs la respectaient. Alors je crois vraiment qu'elle a quelque chose et moi je veux savoir quoi. Vous êtes, vous êtes en France pour préparer, pour monter, comme l'on dit, un film qui vous tient beaucoup à cœur. C'est la vie de Joséphine Baker, qui sera une coproduction dans laquelle la France et la chaîne que je représente, Antenne 2, sera donc euh, directement concernée. C'est la vie de Joséphine Baker. Pourquoi vous avez voulu euh, incarner Joséphine Baker et tourner le film de la vie de Joséphine Baker Why Joséphine Baker Joséphine was, uh, uh, to me, uh, a big, bigger than life star. Oui, c'était une des plus grandes stars, peut-être la plus grande. And, and the, her life was filled with such um, um, ups and downs. Oui, sa vie a été marquée par des hauts et des bas. And, and to always be a, a major success, a major star. Oui. Uh, it was very interesting to me to play her life. She's a very interesting pour elle de d'incarner Very generous Baker. woman. C'est une femme généreuse. And decided to make her own world by adopting the 12 children. Oui, elle a décidé, elle a, elle a mené sa vie, elle a, sa vie a été guidée par sa bonté, sa générosité, puisqu'on sait qu'elle a élevé beaucoup d'enfants de nationalités toutes différentes. Mais je voudrais que vous me racontiez, si vous l'avez déjà rencontrée, et, et dans quelles circonstances. You met her before. I had two meetings of Josephine. Elle a rencontré deux fois Josephine Baker. Yeah. The first time, uh, the last time was the most interesting for me, but the oui. first time... La dernière, la plus intéressante, mais la première mérite également d'être racontée. Was when I was winning, I won the uh, César. Lorsque vous êtes venu en Blues France pour recevoir le, le César, j'essaie de traduire, c'est pas facile, le, le César de la meilleure actrice de l'année pour Lady Sings the Blues, oui. Yes. And the audience stood up for me, oui. and I stood up. C'est ça. Et à la fin de la cérémonie, euh, de, de la cérémonie des Césars, euh, le public attendait que Diana Ross, la reine de la soirée, se lève pour la suivre, par, par politesse. And then, without my noticing, mm. Josephine rose oui. and walked out in front of me. Voilà, et, et à ce moment-là, Josephine Baker s'est levée la première. To, it, it felt as if the applause was for her and not for me. Voilà, <laughs> et, elle, et elle dit que c'était sans doute pour lui voler le show, car effectivement, les applaudissements sont allés vers Josephine Baker. Yes. And the second time, et la seconde the fois. The second time was in Los Angeles. I went to see a performance of her in a hotel. Alors la deuxième fois, c'était euh, lors de la dernière tournée américaine de Josephine Baker. C'était yes. dans un grand hôtel Los Angeles. I'm sitting Waiting for her to come on on stage. Oui, elle était donc dans la rue, était assise en attendant que le show commence. She surprises everyone by coming from the front door. Voilà, elle a surpris tout le monde en arrivant, ce qui se fait souvent dans les shows aux États-Unis, derrière le public, dans la salle, par yes. l'arrière salle, oui. And we hear the music, no Josephine, and then you see her in the back. On entendait la musique et on l'a vu arriver dans notre dos. Wine, she's coming through the room. Oui, elle s'est faufilée entre les tables. And she comes straight to me. Elle est allée directement vers Diana Ross. And she grabs my hair like this. Voilà, elle lui a pris les cheveux qu'elle a, qu a tirés stares, vers l'arrière. Elle, elle a regardé euh, ses yeux. Away. Et elle est partie. Ça se voilà, Elle n'a rien dit. Quand la Josephine Baker story came out, now I know a little bit about you, of what I think is, yeah. is real. I always thought you'd end up being the one to do that. Cause I know, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I know you, you loved the woman's career. Yeah. And you met her once. Yeah. Kind of. I have a passion about Josephine Baker. It's a passion. And it seems like for some reason this woman must be rolling over somewhere because I'm still so very involved in her life. I've been researching and being involved in her life for maybe the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. I met Josephine Baker. She walked up to me in a concert. She walked... I went to see her perform. She walked through the audience, and she walked straight up to me, and she put her hands in my hair, and she just stared at me, and never said a word, and walked away. And then it was like something that said, you know, like, I needed to do this person's life. I want it very much. I didn't really, after doing Billie Holiday, I didn't really want to do another uh, a story about a person's life, you know. So after this uh, uh, re meeting this kind of uh, energy between the two of us is as if she was trying to say something to me and i know um that what i've been searching for is the project that is the right project the right story to tell about her life and i don't think it's been done yet yeah you know i really don't think it's said it yet you, you really don't understand what power and what um uh force 
that she made, the Other difference that she made in her life. And I, and I think it's one of the vehicles, it's an event vehicle that I'd like to do, and I still am working on that. Yeah, other than the one on HBO, have there been others done? I don't think there's been incredible documentaries done about her life. In fact, you know, some of the information about her, no one's been able to put that on film really mm -hmm. yet, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Other than that, nothing. Yeah. Just some waiting for mine, hopefully. <laughs> Motown has a film division. Do it there. You should do yeah. This. Yes. Yes. Um, last year, I, the most successful show on television last year, in point of view of critics' praise, was the Josephine Baker story. Uh, one would have thought that that would have been a part offered to you. Well, you know, uh, I've been working on that project for, oh gee, many years now, maybe ten. And I was also disappointed that I hadn't been uh, asked to do that. Uh, but I had been working on my own production, so I'm afraid that maybe they thought they would start their own production because I, I had my own thing going. I still have a, uh, an opportunity to do that with uh, Ted Turner with TNT if I want to do a different kind of Josephine Baker or to pay attention to a different part of her life. I'm not sure whether I should anymore and it really is quite depressing to me because it's like a, a lost dream I had spent a lot of time on. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Boy, there were so many aspects of her life though, you could almost do a, another story that doesn't even touch on the one they did. That's, I thought, you know, that's what we suggest, that maybe we would spend more time p putting emphasis on the war years, which is a very interesting yeah. and par important part of her life, yes. Uh, but I don't know if the people really want it now, I'm not sure. I wasn't very happy with that uh, production. Uh, by the well, way, hey, does I TNT want it? Huh? Does TNT still yes, want it? Yes. Yeah. Well, I think Scott uh, does. <laughs> Scott, that's Scott Sasser, yes. who's the president of TNT. Well, yes. If they want it, I'd go ahead. I, that should be a lot of fun. Well, I'd it. like to. I'd like to. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you about the movies because Lady yeah. sings the blues, Oscar nomination, yeah. the Wiz, Mahogany. But we don't see you there in the movie. Are you going <laughs> to? <laughs> Have you got any plans? Are you going to do a new movie? Oh, you I worked do. very hard for a long time to do the Josephine Baker story. And then someone scooped me. They did it for television, HBO in America. So I'm not sure I'll get a chance to do that as a feature now. Might you make other feature films? I have just, uh, you know, I have this wonderful deal with ABC Television to right. do movies for TV. Is this a Josephine Baker coming up? Or? No, I no. wish, I, wish I could Go have ahead. done it.